Now let's turn to Action News reporter Corey Davis. Corey, you are live along the parkway with reaction from people who were there for the concert and fireworks when the shooting broke out. Good morning. Sam and Matt, good morning. Imagine the entire parkway packed with people and then all of a sudden they come running this direction. That's what happened last night. An 18 year old tells me he was trampled out here. He saw a couple of kids knocked over and trampled as well. Uh, people left behind strollers, a lot of their belongings out here along the parkway. Uh, right now it's partially cleaned, but there's still a lot of trash and a lot of people's belongings left down there further toward the stage and the Ferris wheel. Families were enjoying what they were calling the perfect 4th of July evening along the Ben Franklin Parkway until chaos unfolded. There was confusion. People ran while the fireworks continued. Some of them tell us they heard others yelling that there was an active shooter, but no one knew for sure. Some families went into safety mode, doing all they could to get away from the parkway. The way the parkway was set up, is that there was barricades, like there's uh, metal fences all along. So people started running towards them. They ran through them. They ran over them. I saw people trip and fall, um, watching parents try to get away from everything. It, it was truly scary. Chopper 6 was above as families ran for their lives, knocking over chairs, jumping over barricades while leaving all of their belongings behind. An 18-year-old tells me he was trampled shortly after enjoying the concert and fireworks with his mom. People were trying to pick me up, but the couple, um, the couple that was trying to pick me up before they took off running, they were saying, I'm so sorry, and they ran. And my mother found me in when I was laying on the ground with like, I feel like my sternum was kicked in. One of our action news crews got caught up in the chaos when people unexpectedly started running away from the parkway. And it's unclear exactly how many people suffered any injuries out here while they were trying to just get out of the area. But as you just heard, so many families were just desperate to get to safety. Reporting live here along the Parkway, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. All right.